The Raiders are depending on Derek Carr to have a huge season. Ron Jenkins Associated Press The Oakland Raiders had their season cut short a year ago. They were flying high in the AFC West and had a slight edge on the New England Patriots for the number one seed in the conference. However, when rising star quarterback Derek Carr broke his leg in Week 16, the Raiders express train slowed to a crawl. They ended up losing the division to the Kansas City Chiefs, and while they made the playoff as a wildcard team, they were eliminated decisively by the Houston Texans. The Raiders will try to write a different story this year. Carr is healthy again, and he has a proven winner in the backfield with Marshawn Lynch. He also has a pair of fine receivers in Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree. The Raiders should be able to make big plays on a consistent basis this year, and they get their first opportunity against Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. The Titans are another team on the rise, and the belief is that they will go as far as Mariota can take them. He also suffered a broken fibula at the end of the season, but when he is healthy, he is clearly a dangerous quarterback, he can get away from the rush, buy time for his receivers and make key plays with his arm or legs. He had an impressive 269 interception ratio last year, and he also has a dangerous running back in DeMarco Murray who can take the pressure off of Marietta's shoulders. While there are high hopes for rookie Corey Davis along with Richard Matthews, the Titans don't have the proven talent at the WR position that the Raiders do. Oakland is a 2.5-point favorite over the Titans in this game recording to odds shark, and look for the Raiders to come away with a season-opening road win and cover. Matchup, point spread, over under, prediction all point spread information courtesy of Odds Shark and Saw City at New England, Ne 9, 48.5, New England of Vere Atlanta at Chicago, ATL, 7, 48, Atlanta under Jacksonville at Houston, How, 5.5, 39.5, Houston under Oakland at Tennessee, Tennessee, 2.5, 50.5, Oakland over New York Jets at Buffalo, Buff, 9.5, 40, Nige under Baltimore at Cincinnati, Cincinnati, 3, 42.5, Baltimore over Pittsburgh at Cleveland, Pitt, 8, 47, Cleveland under Arizona at Detroit, Arizona, 1.5, 48, Detroit over Philadelphia at Washington, the Phil 1, 48, Philadelphia over Indianapolis at Los Angeles Rams, IND, 4, 41.5, Los Angeles under Carolina at San Francisco, Carr, 5.5, 47.5, San Francisco under Seattle at Green Bay, GB3, 51, Green Bay over New York Giants at Dallas, Dal, 4, 47.5, Nigh over New Orleans at Minnesota, Min, 3.5, 48, New Orleans under Los Angeles Chargers at Denver, Den, 3.5, 43.5, Los Angeles over will cover the spread but fail to win Lee Garrett Blount is a short yardage weapon. Mitchell left Getty Images Philadelphia Eagles at Washington Redskins to NFC East was the power division in the NFL in years gone by, and those halcyon days could be returning. The Eagles were the fourth-place team in the division a year ago with a 79 record, but they did so with a rookie quarterback and a first-year coach. QB Carson Wentz and head coach Doug Peterson are joined at the hip, and the duo has a chance to put together a memorable season. Wentz is a strong-armed quarterback who started from day one a year ago, and he was good enough in 2016 to believe that the Eagles made the right choice when they selected him with the number two pick in last year's draft. He threw 16 touchdown passes and showed excellent leadership and preparation, but he must improve his ball security after throwing 14 interceptions. Former Patriot Legarette Blount will improve the toughness quotient on the team and gives the Eagles a battering ram of a running back who can consistently convert short yardage situations into first downs and touchdowns. Newcomer Alshon Jeffrey can be a force at the WR spot as a result of his ability to win the battle for 5,050 balls, and tight end Zach Eretz is a big-time receiver who had 78 receptions a year ago. The Redskins have the quarterback in Kirk Cousins who can allow them to reach elite status, although they don't seem to know it since the two sides have not come together on a long-term contract. Cousins has set the franchise record for yardage in consecutive seasons. Rob's Helly may not be any better than an ordinary running back, which is not a surprise considering he came to the Redskins as an undrafted free agent. Kelly had 704 yards and six touchdowns a year ago. Washington lost wide receiver Deshaun Jackson to free agency and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but it has replaced him with former Cleveland wideout Terrell Pryor, who may be a better all-around player. Explosive Jamison Crowder will also start at wide receiver, while tight end Jordan Reed is a powerful player at his position. 
The Eagles are one-point favorites in this game, and we like them to leave Washington with the win and a narrow three-point victory thanks to the reliable field goal kicking of Caleb Sturgis. NFL Network at Null Network Drew Brees needs 465 completions in 2017 to pass Brett Favre for the most in the NFL. Will it happen? TV https coxidil 7 rrzk https coo w one one seven nine four two hundred thousand and thirty New Orleans Saints at Minnesota Vikings The first Monday night game of the season features a Saints team with a seemingly ageless quarterback in Drew Brees and an opponent that is trying to reinvent itself on offense in the homestanding Vikings. The calendar says that Brees is 38 years old, but he is still a relentless bomber who can string touchdowns together and make big plays when the Saints need them most. He threw for 5,209 yards and 37 touchdowns a year ago, and he has one of the game's best young receivers in Michael Thomas and a solid tight end in Kobe Fleener. The presence of Adrian Peterson could be a double-edged sword for the Saints. If he has anything left in the tank, he could have a sensational game against his former team in the opener, but his time may have passed since he had a poor year in 2016. The Saints are 3.5 point underdogs to an opponent that struggled badly on offense last year and was particularly ineffective on the offensive line. The Vikings believe they are much improved in that area, and that rookie Dalvin Cook and ex-rider Latavius Murray will give them a winning running game. They are ordinary at the WR position with Adam Thielen and Steve Ong Diggs, but Kyle Rudolph is a dependable tight end. The Minnesota defense can be dominant for head coach Mike Zimmer, but if that group doesn't get help from the offense, it will wear down late in the game. Look for the Saints to get the road win.